This delicious cornetti with sourdough starter are easy to make and very delicious. Enjoy this recipe. Pour in the bowl of a stand mixer 160 grams or 3 quarter cups of milk. Add 50 grams or one large egg. 30 grams or 3 eighths of a cup of granulated sugar. Add 100 grams or a third of a cup of stiff sourdough starter at 50% hydration. Add 350 grams or 2 cups plus 3 tablespoons of red flour. Mix at low speed until the flour incorporates with the rest of the ingredients. Add 30 grams or 2 tablespoons of butter at room temperature and 6 grams or 1 tablespoon of sea salt. Knead the dough for about 20 minutes until the dough is soft and elastic like this one. Place the dough on your working table. Make a bowl with your dough and place it in a grease proofing container. Place the container in the fridge to proof for at least 12 hours or up to 24 hours. Take the dough out of the fridge and divide it in eight equal pieces. I recommend you to use a food scale to get equal sized pieces. Grab the portions of dough and make balls with the dough. Add tension to the dough as you make the balls of dough and let the dough rest for about 10 minutes covered with a towel on the counter. Take each ball of dough and stretch it into a circle of about 8 inches or 20 centimeters. I like to use my hands to stretch the dough because that speeds up the process and it helps to keep the shape of the dough. Place the dough on your working table as you keep rolling the other balls of dough. Place the dough on the working table and spread 10 grams or about a tablespoon of unsalted European butter with your hands on all the surface of the dough. I am using European butter because it has a higher content of fat, better quality and more flavor, but you can use any butter you like. Place another layer of dough and repeat the same process. Make sure that you keep the same size and shape of the dough as you keep adding the layers of butter and dough. Place the layer of dough and press the dough well with your hands. Repeat the same process with the remaining pieces of dough. Put four pieces of dough together and then the other four pieces of dough so you can have two layers of dough in the end. Grab the dough well with plastic wrap and place it in a freezer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, Take the dough out of the freezer, place it on your working table, and dust it with flour on both sides. Extend the dough with your rolling pin until you get a circle of at least 12 inches or 30 centimeters in diameter. Do the same for both layers of dough. Place one of the layers of dough on the table and spread hazelnut spread on all the surface of the dough. Place the other layer of dough on top of the dough Make sure to cover the first layer of dough completely. Use a rolling pin to extend the dough to the sides. Use a pizza cutter or knife to cut the dough in 8 equal pieces. To shape the bread, extend the dough and use your fingers to roll the dough together. Place the dough on a prepared baking sheet with parchment paper or a silicone mat. Arrange all the cornettes so that there is enough space in between the pieces of dough. Cover the dough with a plastic lid or a plastic wrap and let the dough rest at around 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius for about 3 to 4 hours. Brush the dough with egg wash. Make sure to cover all the surface of the dough with the egg wash. Bake in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for about 3 minutes or until they are golden brown. When your bread is ready and it looks like this, take it out of the oven and place it on a cooling rack. This bread is so delicious, with a very thin and crunchy crust. The crumb is very soft and airy, I know you're gonna love them. Hey, thank you for watching this video, if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video with your loved ones. I'll see you on the next video.